So this design of a 3D printer frame, it's, uh, it's just the frame at the moment and there's no timeline. Um, doesn't matter that much for this design. Uh, it's, it's easier to rearrange an assembly with the timeline turned off. And with the timeline turned on, you can only rearrange the structure here in the browser uh, at the very end of the timeline. And that has its disadvantages. But anyway, so we're in, uh, in direct modeling mode. And when you import geometry by default, you can actually not do what I'm doing right here. You cannot drag components around because by default, component drag is actually disabled. But don't, don't get fooled into believing that uh, just because you can't drag it around, it's all fully constrained. Because if you would take this assembly as is um, and don't do anything to it after import, you can drag stuff around then in that assembly that you inserted it into. So you have to do something to it to assemble it. So I've, I've been dragging around some things here and maybe I shouldn't do that, but anyway. So before you start assembling this, the first thing you should be doing in any assembly is ground one component. So I'm just gonna ground this corner component here. And what grounding really does is it basically locks the origin of that grounded component, which is, there it is. It locks it to this origin, just fixed in space. So you can't actually drag it around anymore. You can still move the geometry so if you want to move the body, you can still move the body, but just don't do that. Not a good idea. So now you can basically go ahead and start assembling things. So you can just try to find some reference geometry here on your parts that you can reference. Like in this case, that's a good snap point. And then on the opposite part is a good snap point. And perfect. You know, they line up. And if you would now you know, if you do that, you can do that a second time as often as you need to do joints. And maybe you're already happy doing that. But then the next thing, of course, is, and let me do one more component here in the corner. And yeah, I've been told that uh, using a 3D mouse in tutorials is not a good thing, that people get seasick. So because quite frankly, uh, I like 3D mice that much that if you get seasick, just have a bag on hand. Um, so <clears throat> getting, to this, um, getting to this corner part here, we would probably want to assemble it right here in the corner. But there isn't really any good snap point here. If I create a joint, um, want to create a joint. There isn't really any good snap points here because where I want to assemble it right in the corner, there isn't a snap point. It's here, but that's not where I want this part. So what can you do about it? <clears throat> you can actually take a joint origin. That's an explicit joint origin and add it to a part and just snap it here in the middle. And we know that's a 15, uh, that's a 30 by 30 profile. So if you want it exactly in the corner, we have to offset this. Uh, minus 15 in this direction and minus 15 in this direction. Oh, sorry, 15. And then it's right here in the corner at the bottom of that profile. So we could actually do the same thing to our, um, to our angle here, to our bracket. And the bracket is 28 millimeter tall. So if I off this, offset this by one millimeter, I'm right, oops, One millimeter I'm right where I need to be and in that case I can just simply drag this oops drag this and it's perfectly assembled and that that all it needs so now you could go ahead and decide well if that's so easy with this corner bracket I could do the same thing with my uh, with my other components here so we already added this one and they're all instances, which is nice. So you only have to add it once to an instance for, for it to work. So you could also now consider going ahead and, and uh, instead of making individual joints, attach joint origins to all your other parts and just drag those things on top of each other and have that snap together. That's a bit more preparatory work, but if you repeatedly have to do this, it can save quite a bit of work. So hopefully this helps.